Well, good evening everybody. Welcome to my second live video. A happy happy Easter to all of you. I hope you've had a fantastic uh, day and the weather's not spoilt it too much. So we've got quite a few more people just uh, tuning in. So what I'm going to do, I've had lots of people send me messages today to, to wish me luck, hope, to tell me how much they've been enjoying the shows and also to get some shout outs. So I've got a big list of shout outs. If you did send them in the last hour, I do apologise if I don't get to them because it's been pretty manic trying to sort everything out for the last hour. So I'm going to start with a few shout outs because I'm waiting for Sam the Sheepdog. You know what he's like. He has been terrible today. He loves Easter. He's been doing Easter egg hunts all day. He's been having sweets, chocolates. He's everywhere in the garden, up the trees. So I'm, I've told him to get himself in because he wants to tell you what he's been up to today. So let me grab this list. And we can start with a few shout outs. I'm going to start with a, a very special shout out. This is for Vicky Swindles and all of the team of Be Helpful, who are care providers working so hard at the moment. So Vicky and all your team at Be Helpful, you're doing a fantastic job and we all appreciate it so much. We got a shout out to Flo, Tilly and Johnny who are watching at REF Benson in Oxfordshire. We've got Elliot, Amelia, Charlie and of course Ben. I think Ben's the dad but I think he enjoys it more than the kids. Happy Easter to you. We've got Maisie and Amber from Holmes Chapel. We've got our first joke as well. I've been looking forward to these jokes. Uh, this joke is from Phoebe and Jake and this is it. What do you call a bald man that likes biscuits? A Gabbaldi. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. That is a great joke to start us off. We've. I'm not, is this another joke already? We've got Evie and Leo from Biddulph. Oh, hang on. Evie loves it when the one gets stuck at my nose. Oh, thanks, Evie. I know it was funny, though. Uh, we've got Neve, whose birthday it is this weekend. Of course, it's Neve's birthday this weekend. I was going to be doing magic show at her party, but obviously we can't do it. So, Neve, have a fantastic birthday, and hopefully we'll do another party for you again soon. Uh, Hope and Jack, who have been laughing at all my shows. That's nice to hear. We've got Gracie May from Scholar Green, who loved my last show. We've got Claudia, who is eight, and Arthur, who is five, and has been to lots of my parties. Oh, that's great. We've got Elsie May from Sandyford, Jessica Weston, and all her friends from Haslington Primary School. She's missing you all. Jessica's missing you all. Uh, whoa, we've got another joke. We've got another joke. Let's go for this one. This is of Logan and Olivia. Knock, knock. Who's there? Poo. Poo who? No need to cry. It's just a joke. Another good joke. I'm loving all these jokes that you send me. We've got Jack and Ava from Bramall who've been laughing at my shows. A big hi to Chloe, Olivia, Oliver and Harry. We've got Ashley and Ashley that's 10, Jacob that's 6. Happy Easter. That's very nice. Uh, oh, another joke from Albert who's 10 and Dorothy who's 4. What do you call 10 Barbie dolls in a row? A barbecue. Oh, that is another good joke. Alex and Sam, age six. How would you say hello in the North Pole? Ice to see you. Again, this is good. We've got Tony Doyle. What did the egg say to the other egg? Have you heard any good yolks? <sighs> That's good. And we've got Libby Hutchinson, whose birthday party I did a few years ago. I did, Libby, you were amazing. Hope you're having a good Easter. And to Logan and Luna... And to Harrison, age six, in Stockport. Hope you're having a good day. We're going to do some more later, but Sam has just arrived. Are you ready to see Sam? You are. Let me grab him. In fact, shout, come out, Sam, while I get it going. Shout, come out, Sam. Come on, you, you naughty dog. Here he is. Sam, you're here and you no, there's no more chocolate for you yet. Later you can have some chocolate. You, no, you're not having any more sweets. You've, you've been eating it all day. You're so naughty, you are. And it's special chocolate. How come it's special chocolate? Oh, it's because you're a dog. Yeah, it's because he's a dog. He has to have special chocolate, yes. And uh, you've hit mine. That's not funny. Why have you hit mine? 
I don't deserve it. Well, pfft, I don't believe you. You are naughty. What have you been up to today? You've done your exercise. Well, you have to do your exercise. What exercise have you done? You've been out on your scooter. <laughs> Whoa, where have you been on your scooter? To the traffic lights. Why did you go to the traffic lights? You did your magic. What magic did you do? You make the traffic lights change colour. Why did you do that? So you don't have to stop. Oh, you are naughty, you are. I think you're tricking us. You can change the colours on the traffic lights. Do you think he can change the colour on the traffic lights? I don't think he can, you know. It's quite a tricky thing to do. You want to give it a go? Well, I'll tell you what, under this sign here, we've got some traffic lights, and you could try and do that. Uh, boys and girls, do you think you can help him? You can. He might need some help today. Uh, are you... They're all mixed up. No, they're not mixed up. You've got green at the bottom, yellow in the middle, red on the top. Take the cover off. Let me take the cover off. Look, green... Green on the top? You, you said they were mixed up. Well, hang on. If you can do that, I want to put them back in the right order and you've got to mix them up. Do you think you can do that? Oh, this is going to be tricky. Let's put them over here like this. We'll put that one there. We'll put that one there. And that one there. Uh, hey, I've had an idea. Yeah, let's see who's really clever. This is to see who's fastest at home. Get ready. I'm going to cover up the tube. Remember what colours are on the tube. I'll turn it round. Whichever, I'm going to shout out a question. Whichever colour it is, you've got to shout out the answer first. Get ready. Fastest one in your house. Get ready. What colour was at the bottom? Green, well done, we'll put the green one in first. In goes the green one. What was in the middle? Yellow, yeah, I know it's amber on a traffic light, but we're gonna say yellow today, because we've got lots of little ones watching, so we'll put the yellow one in. This is the hardest question of all. What do you mean, red? I've not asked a question yet. It's the only one left. Uh, yeah, it is the only one left. Which one on the top? The red one. Put the red one in like this. So you said green, yellow, red. Now you've got to mix all these up. You can do it. If the boys and girls help. Will you help him do this? You are really kind to Sam. What you do is you put your hands in the sky and you have to wiggle your fingers really, really fast. And if you wiggle your fingers really fast, we can say the magic words abracadabra and hopefully, hopefully, we can change the colours. No. No. He just said he wants a magic wand. Do you think I should let him have the magic... You want me to let him have the magic wand? I don't think that's a good idea. The big wand? No, you're just having this one over here. Because I know that everything's absolutely fine with this magic wand. So you can hold on to this magic wand, okay? And whatever you do, do nothing naughty. So everybody has to cross the, hand, cross the legs, put their hands in the sky. You have to wiggle your fingers really fast. Sam will wave the wand. And after three, we all say abracadabra. We'll try and get the, the, the lights to change colour. Because he is... Ri what was that? What, what have you done? You, you broke the wand. It, it just fell off. No, I don't think it did. You did that. Now listen, look, oh, look at this now. I've only got one white bit on the end now. How's that going to work? You'll get it to work. I don't think you will. Uh, put that in your mouth, okay? Now whatever you do, just be good. <sighs> We've got one white bit. That's all we need, I think. So, put your hands in the sky. Wiggle your feet. What have you done? Wait, look at this. It'll still work. It'll still work because the boys and girls are magic. I don't know if this is going to work. You hold that. Oh, is everybody ready? Put your hands in the sky. Wiggle your fingers. And after three, we say abracadabra. Get ready. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Not me. He's so naughty. Right, let's see if he's done it. Hey, if he's mixed them up, if the red one's at the bottom, give him the biggest clap in the world. Let's see. 
Give him a big clap. Wow. If, uh, if the green one's in the middle, give him a big cheer. Let's have a look. It is. Give him a big cheer. If the yellow one's on the top, give him a big clap and a big cheer. Let's see. Give him a big clap. Sam, you are magic. You can do it even if I make it harder. Because you're really good. All right, let's make it a little bit harder for you this time then. Let's put the red one in there, green one in there, yellow one there. Let's set them up again. Uh, fastest one, what colour goes at the bottom? Green, I can't trick you one today. Oh, hang on, you're not meant to be looking at that, are you? Uh, I twist that round. In the middle, yellow. On the top is red. You are clever at this. And are we ready? to mix them up again. But this time, let's make it tricky. You've got to keep the green one at the bottom, okay? Don't move the green one. Uh, you've got to move the red one to the middle, okay? And the yellow one on the top. Do you think you can do? You can. You need the wand. Ugh. It's not a big magic wand. You broke it right in your mouth. Are you ready? Everyone, hands in the sky. Wiggle your fingers. After three, we say the magic word. Abracadabra. Get ready. One. Two, three, abracadabra. No, not me. But that's it. You're not having a wand again. Right, if he's kept the green one at the bottom this time, let's give him a massive big clap because that is good magic. Let's see. Oh, whoa, it's still there. Give him a big clap. Oh, hang on. If the red one's in the middle, give him a big cheer. Let's have a look. <gasps> give him a big cheer. If the yellow one's on the top, big clap, big cheer. Let's see. Give him a big clap. He is doing amazing. You are so good. He... Can you? You want to put them in the right order. You can do it. I'm not sure if he can. Uh, let's try them. We'll put them in the order. I've had a better idea, Sam. Uh, let's try this. Let's put the green one in and the yellow one. And you have to make the red one disappear. Uh, and land on the top without moving the green or the yellow one. Sounds tricky. I think you can do this. Let me cover that up like that. And then uh, we've got the red one here. Sam's going to keep an eye on the red ball. Okay. Be what are you doing? What are you doing? Keeping your eye on the ball. Uh, I don't mean keep your eye on the ball, literally. Get off it. I mean, just, just watch it. Uh, in fact, I can balance it on his nose and then he has to make it disappear. <laughs> this sounds tricky. Are you ready for this? Can you balance it? Yo, this is it's hard to balance. Let's put it on the top like this. And, uh, oh, that is good. Oh, nearly, Sam. That is really good balancing. Let's try. Look at this. He has to make the red ball disappear and land on the top. So uh, we haven't got the magic wand. So what we'll have to do is get... Where's the ball gone? You've magicked it on the top? We... No, you haven't. You... We haven't done the magic yet. We... Oh, it's on the floor. Did... It wasn't you. Boys and girls, did Sam head, head the ball away? He did. You are so naughty. You've got to get that red ball now on the top. If you can't do it, all the boys and girls will laugh at you. Uh, the boys and girls can help. Do you think you can help him? Oh, you are so kind. Are we ready? Put your hands in the sky. Wiggle your fingers. Have the magic wand. And after three, we'll all say abracadabra. Get ready. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Ow. I don't believe that. It's worked. He says it's worked. Shall we have a quick look? The green one's at the bottom. Give him a big, big clap. Let's have a look. Give him a clap. If the yellow one's in the middle, give him a big cheer. And if the red one's on the top, big clap, big cheer. Let's see. Give him a big, big clap. Sam, you are magic. Ha Can you go and have your chocolate now? Boys and girls, do you think it's okay for Sam to go and have his chocolate? You do. All right then, Sam, you can go. We might see you later. Everyone put your hand in the sky. Give a big wave and say, 
Bye bye, Sam. Oh, come on. Let's put you down here out of the way. Stay down there. Whoa. Hey, boys and girls, do you want to win a prize? You do. Not just the boys and girls, how about the mums and dads as well? And grandparents, everybody that's watching can win a prize. Let me lift this up here. Whoa, this is my spinner prize. Now what's gonna happen is this. In a minute, I'm gonna spin the wheel round. As you can see, we've got numbers. We've got number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. I want you all now to think of a number. Think of one. Have you got one? Now shout it out at your house, but don't pick the same number as someone else. If someone else has got your number, change it, okay? Change it. Unless there's nine of you watching, then you'll have to have the same number at some point. Are we ready? So I'll be spinning it around. If it lands on your number, you win a prize. Because I did put on the message about make sure you've got a bag of prizes so someone can win. If you haven't got any prizes, because you might not have seen the message, mark it down on a piece of paper and then we can, you can get a prize once you've been to the shop. Are you ready? Have you all got a number? Are you thinking of a number? I'm going to spin it three times and then we'll see who is going to win the first prize. Think of your number. It's going to be tricky. Get ready. Number one. Who's picked number... You picked number one? No, you didn't. I thought you picked two. No, you picked number... If you've picked number one, you've just won a prize. Give yourselves a big, big clap. Wow. It's fantastic. And so that's what... I know, we'll do it a few more times. Get ready. Think of another number. You can pick the same number or you can change the number. Get ready. Think. Have you thinking of a number? Have you changed... Have you? Oh, we've got something that's changing. Get ready, here we go. It stopped on number two. Who's picked number two? Did you pick two? Fantastic, they picked number two. You win a prize, have a prize if you got number two. And uh, we'll do it one more time and I'm gonna make it a bit easier for you. How about that? Get ready, here we go. Pick a number, are you thinking of one? Have you got a number? Keep thinking, I'm going to spin it three times. Get your number ready. Whip number five. Anyone get number five? You got number five? They got number five. Fantastic. Well done. I'll tell you what we'll do. Because I know some of you still haven't got a prize because you're being honest. Who hasn't got a prize? You didn't get any right. Okay, pick two numbers. Are you ready? Pick two numbers. Have you got two numbers? You have. Right. You've got a better chance of winning now. Think of your two numbers. This is to get the prize. If you've got the same number as somebody else, it doesn't matter. You can pick another number. That's it. Get ready. Two numbers. Are you thinking of two numbers? Here we go. Let me spin it round. Number one. We're back at number one. Who's got number one? You've got number, fantastic, well done. If you've got number one, you win a prize. You do. In fact, this time, even or odd. You can either pick an even number or an odd number. How about that? So say to yourself, even or odd. Shout it out so everybody knows what you've got. This is to get a prize. Get ready. Even or odd. This is the last go to win a prize. Let's see. What is that? That is... It's number six. It's even if you picked even you've just won a prize give yourselves a big big clap well done hang on be honest who didn't get a prize didn't you get a prize you didn't get any right did you say odd for that last one you well because you've been so honest and you haven't won a prize anyone that's honest and hasn't won Grab your song for prize for this next bit. You've done so good. Well done, everybody. We're going to do a quiz in a bit, so I'll give you all the chance to win another prize. Let me just move this spin thing out of the way. In fact, let me just do a few more shout-outs. 
do a few more shout outs and maybe a few more jokes as well. Uh, oh, this was lovely. This is of Phoebe, and Phoebe's only three, and she sent me a video of her, of her telling a joke. So <laughs> she was so funny when she told me, so I'm going to have to try my best here. Why do ducks always make great detectives? Because they always quack the case. That is just amazing. Well done, Phoebe. We got uh, Oscar Tingle. Where on an aircraft does the Easter Bunny sit? The exit row. Oh, that's so clever, especially now at Easter. So oh, well done. Uh, a big, big, big shout out to Logan, who knocked his big teeth out the other day. Logan, oh no, I hope you're okay, and I hope you can still eat your chocolate with no teeth. Can you do that, Logan? You can, that's all right then. Uh, we've got Erin Williams from Haslington, whose birthday's on Wednesday. Oh, have a great birthday on Wednesday. And she's got a joke as well. What happened to the frog's car? It got towed away. <laughs> Another good one, that is a good one. A big shout out to Sashka, who's five and lives in Bramall. Uh, a shout out to, to Eden and Rio. And another big shout out to Karen Moncaster. Happy birthday, Karen. Uh, she'll be watching this with Paige and Joseph in Bentley. I hope you're having a great, great day. Hey, listen to this. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's been raining today. And you're going to get wet. Well, listen, I had to get this from the garage. Let me just grab it. Oh, where have I put it? Uh, here it is. Have a look at this. Can you read what it says on there? This is my brolly box. You put it on there. So what we did, if it rains, you have to take this with you because then, oh no, not this. This is to see who's clever. <laughs> are you all clever? Yeah, I bet you are. Uh, oh, this is it. This is where it is. This is my umbrella and it's from the wizard. And he said, Nick, whatever you do, you must never, ever, ever, ever open it inside. He said, because if you do, funny things could happen and we don't want anything funny to happen. Sorry? What? No, no, don't open it inside. I know what you're thinking. No, I didn't. No, you see, don't open it. Don't believe this. Did I open that? Oh, no. He said, he said if you open it inside, funny things could happen. Uh, let's put it in here. Out of the way like this. I'll, I'll leave it there. It doesn't really matter because nothing funny is going to happen. But I've got this. This is my... Uh, uh, hey... This is my bag to see who's clever. I've got different coloured hankies in here. I'm going to pull them out. It's the fastest one in your family to shout the colour out. Are you ready? Fastest one to shout the colour out. What colour is this? Red. Well done. You are quick at this. Get ready. What colour is this? Blue. You are good at this game. And what colour is this? Yellow, I, yeah, I know it's yellow, and then uh, get ready. What colour? Fastest one. What colour is the? No, wait, wait till it comes all the way out. Wait, no, all the way out. <laughs> green? It's not green. It's red. Uh, what colour is this? You're quick at these. What colour is this? Another green one. You're doing so well at this. What colour is this? No, it's not blue. It's nothing. What colour is this? Blue. And what colour is this? Yellow. You are so clever at your colours. Well done. He said, once you've taken them all out of the bag, put them back in again. What is the point of that? Putting them all back in again. I don't believe this. He said, to do some magic, get the boys and girls to cross the legs, put their hands in the sky, wiggle their fingers, and after three, say the magic words, abracadabra. Are we ready? Oh, I nearly forgot. you got to wiggle your fingers, but don't wiggle your thumbs. He said, if you wiggle your thumbs, something funny might happen, and we do not want that. So, wiggle your fingers, not your thumbs. And after three, we say abracadabra. Get ready? One, two, three. Abracadabra. Let's see. 
Give yourselves a big, big... Hang on. You didn't wiggle your thumbs, did you? You did? Wait. I don't believe this. That looks very much like my... I don't believe this. You best not laugh at this. You best not laugh at what you've done. Wait. I don't believe this. Look at my umbrella! Wait. Oh no. Who's just done that funny magic? You've just done the funny magic? I don't believe you. Give yourselves a big, big clap. Wow, you are amazing. Oh, I'm going to get wet if it rains again. Uh, shall we give another few prizes away? Have you got your prizes ready? Let me put this over here. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to say hello to Kelly Bailey as well. She works at a nursing home. She's working really hard. To, to all of you that are working at nursing homes, the hospitals, everyone that's working in shops, looking after us. It's very easy for us just to stay at home. I'm having fun doing magic for you and you're having fun watching it. But for everybody that's having to go to work, you got my full respect. I think you're absolutely wonderful. So well done. But Kelly, Kelly Bailey, well done, who's in a nursing home. Uh, get ready. We're going to do a quiz. Okay, now there's some tough questions in this, some for the grown-ups as well, so, uh, but the rule is this, I will ask a question, and it's the fastest one to shout the answer out wins the prize, okay? Fastest one to shout the answer out wins the prize. Now, I'm going to make it a bit tougher for the grown-ups, because you have to wait for three seconds before you shout out your answer. Okay, let's get the questions. Here we go, we got the questions. Are we ready? Question one. Justin Fletcher is better known as A, Mr. Bumble, B, Mr. Crumble, or C, Mr. Tumble. Shout out your answer now. Have we got a winner? Have we got a winner? Justin Fletcher is better known as Mr. Bumble, Mr. Crumble, or Mr. Tumble. Well done, you got it right. Of course, it's Mr. Tumble. Well done. Um, let's try this one. Now, this is a true or false. You've got to shout out true if you think it's right or shout out false if you think it's wrong. The question is, jellyfish do not have a brain. Do you think jellyfish do not have a brain? Is that true or is it false? Shout it out. It's true. If you've just said true, that they do not have a brain, you win a prize. Well done. Let's move on. Oh, this is a tough one. This one is. What is the largest country in the world? What is the largest country in the world? Is it Canada, Russia or China? What do you think it is? Canada, Russia or China? Shout out your answers. Oh, I'd love to know which who, who's winning in your family. Uh, the answer is Russia. If you were the fastest one to say Russia, you win a prize. Well done. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Oh, this is a good one. This is another true or false. Is it possible to see the Great Wall of China from the moon? Can you see the Great Wall of China from the moon? Is that true or is that false? Shout out your answers. Got some good answers coming in. The answer is it's false. You can't see the Great Wall of China from the moon. You can see the Great Wall of China from space, but you can't see it from the moon. It says here, it's like looking at a human hair from two miles away. I don't think you're going to be able to see that one. Uh, fastest one to answer the question to win the prize. At what restaurant does SpongeBob SquarePants work? What restaurant does SpongeBob SquarePants work? Have you got that? Were you the fastest one? If you've just said the Krusty Krab and you were the fastest, you have just won. Well done. Get them prizes, get them given out. And this is a true or false. 
Is it true or is it false that there are more sheep than people in Iceland? So think of the country Iceland. Do you think there's more sheep than people? Have you shouted the answer? If you said it was true, you are right. There are more sheep than people in Iceland. Well done. Get yourself a prize. We haven't got many questions left to win a prize. Uh, what film would you be watching if Simba was in it? Shout out quick. Did it be fast to shout out? Did, did, have you just shouted that one out? Have you just, did you just say Lion King? You've done it. You've, you've got a prize. Get yourself a prize. If you said Lion King, you just won a prize. Only two more. And these two questions are about my shows that I've been doing. So I've, I did a live show. I've done two shows that you can find on YouTube. Um, Nick Barnes Magician is a channel. Subscribe to that and you'll be able to see other shows. But this is the first one. In one of my shows, the magic wand got stuck up my nose. When we eventually took it out of my nose... It got stuck somewhere else. Was it A, my ear, B, my eye, or C, my mouth? Ear, eye, or mouth? Shout out quick. You found it funny. Oh, thanks. You found that funny? Yeah. All right. If you said ear, you were right. It got stuck in my ear. Well done. Get a prize if you said that. Last question. Get ready. In my last live show... What type of dog came out of that bag? I had a bag and I put a white dog in and a black dog and you lot did the magic. What type of dog came out? Can you remember? It had all the spots on. Have you got it? Did you say Dalmatian? I think you just said Dalmatian. Give yourself a big, big clap. You have just said Dalmatian. Well done. In fact, everyone, grab a prize. I'm feeling kind. Go on, grab a prize. We have got a couple more shout outs really quick. We're getting through these shout outs. Lots of them here, you see. We've got uh, Francesca, who's age seven. She's got a joke. Get ready. Why did the skeleton not go to the ball? Because he didn't have anybody to go with. Oh, that is amazing. What a great joke. Uh, another shout out to Brody, Otis, and Tilly. That's their lovely Rio family. I uh, hope you're having a great time watching the show. Uh, and just a little reminder for people that might not know this, uh, Ian Davis is doing a Punch and Judy show tomorrow. I think it's at 10.30. I will put a share on my page so people can have a look. But we're doing another Punch and Judy. It'll be a Punch and Judy show, his first one, at 10.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, a shout out to Jack, age four, from Stoke-on-Trent, who's been enjoying all the shows. Uh, Lottie, age six, in Congleton. We've got Sam, who's eight, and Ola, who's four, from Sandbach. Another joke. I love these jokes. How do you get Pikachu on a bus? Pokemon. <laughs> I love it. That is great. Big shout out to Kira. Shout out to Luke Briars and his new haircut. He's had his haircut today, so hopefully we'll get a picture of that. Shout out to Jessica, uh, Joshua and um, uh, Emily. Uh, we've got Daniel, who's eight, and Georgia, who's five, from Mac. Uh, Freddie Woods, who was four yesterday. We've got Elena and Aviana, a uh, big shout out to them. Seth and Ronnie, uh, a shout out to everyone who attends the nursery uh, down in Congleton, a fantastic place. Uh, and to Skylar Topham and her dog Moo Moo, to Olive and Ellis who have been sheltering from the rain. In fact, we've been sheltering from the rain. Why don't we do some magic and make it a, a lovely day tomorrow? Who wants a lovely day tomorrow? You want a couple of lovely days. Right, here we go. If you want a couple of lovely days, put your hands in the sky. Wiggle your fingers. And after three, we all say the magic words abracadabra. Get ready after three. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Wow. Listen, if you wake up in the morning and the sun is shining, you've got to tell everybody that you've, you've magic the sun. Will you do that? Uh, well, hang on a second. I needed to have a quick peek at... Uh, where are my chocolates? Before I have to go, I, I wanted to have a look at my chocolates. Uh, I, oh, I keep them down here. I've had to hide them from Sam. Let me let me grab them quick. I think I've got them in this house. I have to hide them. Uh, 
another shout out to Chloe and Claire. That's a that's a shout out to Chloe and Claire. They're watching as well. Uh, hang on a second. Let's have a quick peek in here. I think they're just inside. I'm having to be quiet. I don't want Sam the Sheep Doctor to know. Are they inside it? They are as well. Look at this. I've got oh, I've got these here. I've got I've got some sweets. Put your hand up if you've got sweets. You've got, do you love your sweets? I bet you do. And I've got some little cream eggs like this. Who likes cream eggs? You like cream eggs, do you? Uh, have you got big Easter eggs? Have you got them big chocolate Easter eggs? You have. Well, these are what I've got over here. And uh, this was another quiz question I was going to ask everybody as well. Um, how do the Easter eggs get in your garden? Sorry? The Easter bunny. Is that how they get into the garden? Wouldn't it be cool if we could see the Easter Bunny today? I think that would be amazing. Uh, shall we give it a go? Are you ready for the last time for this show? Everybody put your hands in the sky. Wiggle your fingers. And after three, I want you all to say really loud the magic words, abracadabra. Get ready. After three. One, two, three. Abracadabra. Let's have a look. Give yourselves a big, big clap. Look at that, it's Tickles. He's like the magic Easter bunny. Ha Hang on, let me get him. Come here, Tickles. Come over here. Whoa. Oh, boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight. I hope you've enjoyed seeing Tickles and Sam the Naughty Sheepdog. I hope to see you all again soon in another video. So... Have a wonderful Easter and thanks very much for watching. Take care, everybody. Happy Easter. Bye-bye.